Hi everyone, this is Alex Tarobri from Rhapsody of Fire. You are watching to The Age of Metal. This is Miguel with DH Metal, and I'm here with uh, Alex Extaropoli of keyboard player of uh, Rhapsody of Fire. How are you doing, sir? How is the um, cruise going for you so far? It's going great. It's exciting. It's fantastic weather, fantastic fans. Yesterday we played the first show, so it's really cool. Well, yesterday we had the chance to listen some of the part of the Into the Legend, the new album, and you guys kicked off with the new song. Uh, you guys can play the 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 the, um, the title track. So within into the album, the album is uh, the, the album is already out. Yes, it's already out. in the United States uh, yesterday. Yesterday, yes, yeah. actually when we were here. Um, what are the ideas behind the album? Because you know, I, I noticed that it has a lot of uh, kind of if we can say old school rhapsody of fire on it. Yeah. Well, the idea is behind is that uh, I really wanted to collect all the all the elements that are typical that for Rhapsody of Fire since mm -hmm. since forever. So I really started with a list uh, like uh, what all the instruments I wanted to have. So orchestra, choirs, baroque ensemble, many soloists, soprano, and starting from that list, uh, you know, I started to compose based on this list. You know, so it's it's really important for me to know what's going on in every song, what which are the possibility musical possibility I have you know I know Rhapsody of Fire is a, it's a great band but I like to add more stuff on top right, you know so so that was the, the beginning you know and uh, I already had uh, the kiss of life mm -hmm. I already wrote part of the song for Dark Wings of Steel mm -hmm. but I decided to keep it to, to keep it uh, apart for the for it to the legend gotcha. yeah now um what was the most difficult part at the time to put this album together? Because I mean, I noticed that it's, uh, it has so much elements and so much uh, moods and so much uh, texture. Uh, what was the most difficult part at the time to, you know, sit in and putting it together? I have to say that uh, in many productions of the past, we had uh, difficulties, but, you know, it's part of the process, you know, the easiest part and parts that are more challenging and you need more time, more energy. Into the Legend, it took uh, like two years for composing it and seven months in the studio. But I have to say, I never had difficult moment. This is something really unique. So you, you think it was kind of a flawless album? That was more it was more really really every 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 part of it, every moment, every little step was just uh, great, enthusiastic. Everything was flowing and. Uh, we took the time, of course, when you have, you know, we, we took the time, we said, okay, we start, we started in March 2015, and we had to finish two months earlier, actually, so we were <laughs> two months late, but it's okay, you know, and we, it was a really fantastic experience. One thing that caught my attention, and, and I say in this, Alex, because I, I remember seeing Rhapsody before, with, we were talking about years before. Yeah. And I was surprised and really glad of Roberto's skill. How has been the relationship with him and you at the time to work Rhapsody's material? Really good because well, you have to know Roberto and Luca Torilli were they, they were schoolmates and okay. we started together to play. So at the very beginning there were myself, Luca Torilli, Roberto De Micheli. So we played a few years together. Then he uh, Robbie decided to go to 
to go away from 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 the band because he, he wanted to do more progressive stuff, right. and we were more look at me myself were more on the epic direction. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so but we st always do. stay in touch, you know. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing that uh, in the very when I met him, he was sixteen. He was playing and studying guitar eight hours a day. And after twenty years, <laughs> when I call him, the first question I ask him is, "How many hours you study?" <laughs> <laughs> and he said still six to eight hours a day, you know, so it's still the ma maniac. It's still the same. He was, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> he's a great guy, you know. It was important for me to find a good person other than a great player, you know, so I have both. Right, no, definitely. I mean, like, for what I saw last night at the Alhambra Tree, he has 70,000 tons. I mean, you guys, again, after this many years, blew my mind. I mean, I was surprised. I mean, I'm glad that yeah. Roberto has kind of like that same flow that Rapsu used to have before. Yeah. Um, talking about tours, uh, last time that Rap Studio Fire was in the United States was a couple years back. 2012. 2012 with some shows sporadically around the country, some of them, you know, not, yeah, in different parts. Yeah. Uh, when we will see that again, we will see uh, a tour with Rap Studio again. Well, in the United States, I still don't know. We, we are uh, compiling some dates. We are organizing the European tour at first. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully in fall, sometimes this year, we'll be able to tour in Latin America, maybe in the States. We, we have to see. There's nothing official yet. And of course, we would like to play. Definitely. Yeah. We would love to see you guys. And one thing that else is interesting right now is that Fabio is on, on, on Angra as well. Um, from your point of view, do you think that he brought some elements from Angra into Rhapsody of Fire for this album? Not at all, because Rhapsody of Fire is a unique band, and actually, well, from Dark Queens of Steel on, I asked Fabio to write lyrics, right. so that's the, the big change in Rhapsody of Fire since uh, the, the, the split we had. But uh, since I'm responsible for the music, despite I work with my brother and with Robbie, Robbie DiMichele as well, uh, the music of Rhapsody Fire is, uh, is unique, unique, you know, you can listen to Angra, you can listen to any other bands, but when Fabio sings with Rhapsody Fire, you, it's a totally different thing, you know. Definitely, because I, I remember he used to have another project, a Vision Divine, and also yes. being laboring <laughs> yes. back in the day. We always told him to have the freedom, you know, to, to sing with other bands, because especially in the beginning, we were composing everything, the music the, and, and the lyrics as well. So for a singer, it can be you know a bit problematic to just step in the studio and sing. Here, this is the music, this is the lyrics, just sing, you know. It's not just sing because he was always a fantastic uh, interpreter of what we had in mind. So that's why the, the band really, you know, you, you can really feel the... the the, the, the elements that gets together very well, you know. Now he's writing his only li the lyrics, so it's even better, you know. And it's incredible because I mean I remember many years ago seeing you guys, and he his voice having changed at all. It's been like a long time. Yes. And it's, it's just it's yeah. impressive. It's impressive. It's impressive. Now uh, closing up, Alex, what is next for uh, Rhapsody of Fire after well now the release of uh, Into the Fire worldwide. What is next for you guys? Are you going to be uh, on summer tours, uh, you know, the summer festivals, tours? What's going on? Well, the next uh, is uh, Asia. We okay. have uh, already Japan booked and uh, we have uh, Indonesia. Maybe some more dates will be added soon. And uh, what's uh, next? Uh, we take everything that comes, you know, on our way, you know. We are ready to play and willing to play into the legend. On stage and we are very excited this album is uh, receiving a lot of great uh, feedbacks we enter the charts and uh, reviews are fantastic and we love the album you know I really spent two years of my life doing it working on it so I really feel it's, it's a great album okay closing up with two days within 70,000 tons what are you looking for for these two days well playing meeting fans relaxing sun Everything, everything, you know. Everything. Yeah, everything. Are you going down yet tomorrow to Jamaica? I think so, yeah. Nice. Well, Alex, thank you very much. Definitely congratulations on the great album. Yeah. It was great to see Rhapsody back again on action, back in what we can say international um, 
waters, but yeah. in this side of the continent, it was good to see you guys. Yeah. Thank you very exactly. much. Thank you. Into the light of you won't see me cry for me.